Hello and welcome to today's video. In today's video I'm going to make Donatello from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles using the mold of the little figurine from Nerdy Crafters Not Another Craft... No, not another... Not, not, not another crap kit. Alright, we'll get started right after this. The first thing I need to do is make my base figurine using the mold that came from Nerdy Crafters Not Another Crap Kit. So it comes with some permastone, you take the powder, mix it with the water, following the instructions that came with the kit. Go ahead and pour it into the mold. And then I always tap on the table to make sure to get rid of as much air bubbles as I can and then clean it up. Now I'm going to let that set up, so I'm going to take a little bit of a break. This takes about a half hour to 40 minutes. So I'm just going to relax, watch some classic cartoons. And then once I'm done with this, I should be able to get back to the mold. Yeah, this one's a good one. All right. So we're going to demold our little figurine. I did fill this one up a little higher than my last one. So I'm cutting off the little antenna, cleaning it up. Now I'm going to make the eyes using some UV resin. So I'm just pouring this into the small little half circles, taking my... UV light that came with the kit. Oh, it's so bright! And then once that is set up for about 30 seconds using the light, they're ready to demold and go ahead and paint them. I'm gonna make my Ninja Turtle wearing a mask, and so I like it when they have their eyes all just kind of a solid white. So I'm just gonna paint white on the back of this. It's kind of hard to hold these little pieces. Once that is done, I'm letting that dry. I mixed up some dark green, jungle green actually, with some regular green Primo Sculpey. And I rolled that out with my rolling pin, getting it nice and even. Then I add some clay adhesive to that. I'm going to wrap it around his entire body. So I'm starting with his left arm. That's the hardest part to get because there's such a tight space in between the body and the arm. So I'm just getting that all covered. And then I'll go ahead and cover the rest of his body. I'm going to wait on the head. So doing the same thing, covering it with the clay adhesive. Smoothing it out on there, taking my piece of clay, just wrapping it around there, and then I will cut off the excess so I can make sure it's not all lumpy and it follows along that mold. Now I'm just going to take my needle tool and mark for his hands or his fingers. Then I decided I'm going to use some wires in his back. He's got three openings in his back or holes in his back that were for either wings or tails. And I thought if I put some wires in there, it'll give some support when I attach his shell. So now I'm just attaching those and smoothing out the clay. The last thing I want to do before I do my first baking session is make some toes. Normally I like my fingers and toes to be very similar. On this guy I'm doing them differently because I wanted to make sure the toes stuck out a little bit farther and help the figurine balance. I didn't know how his weight would be once I added the shell so I thought doing the toes would help balance him. Now I'm going to go ahead and bake him according to package instructions. Once he's cooled down, I'm rolling out some more of my green clay mixture using some clay adhesive on the head. And I'm just going to cover his head entirely. So I just took a big piece and I'm going to cut off some of these extra parts that have bunched up and then I'll smooth it out so I've got him nice and covered. Now once I have the head completely covered, I'm going to go ahead and sculpt out his mouth and nose area. So I'm just getting it the size I want it. Get it positioned on how I want his, you know, where I want him facing. And then I am just going to take my fingers and ball tools and smooth that all in so it, you know, blends in nicely with the head sculpt. Once I have that done, I'm using my needle tool to give him a little bit of a smile. Don't want him sad. And then I'm going to use my ball tool to add some indentions to put those eyes in there. I also used my ball tool to add a little bit of texture to him. And my eye sockets were a little bit small, so I'm using my ball tool to round those up a little bit, make them a little bit bigger so my resin eyes fit in there. I don't want my eyes to stick out too far. I don't want them to be bug-eyed, plus I'll have to put his mask on him. And then I decided to add some spots, so I went with even darker green and cut these little pieces out and just made them into balls, pushed them into the clay. And I did them up on his head, but I also did them on his lower part that was baked and it was fine. Now I'm making his chest piece, and what I did was mix some green with some yellow, and then I'm going to give him kind of a 
six pack, you know, <laughs> front plate. And so I've got this all sculpted out and I like the look of it. I used some reference pictures for the turtles, but it's a little too big. So I'm gonna go ahead and trim these down. And so I'm just cutting off a little bit of each one and then I'll place them all together and kind of press them so they you know kind of bond together. And then they were a little bit dirty, so I'm using some uh, alcohol, rubbing alcohol with a Q-tip to clean those up. And then I'll use my clay adhesive, rub it on his belly, get him all in there. And then I'll go ahead and press his chest plate on. Now to do the turtle shell. I mixed some brown, green, yellow. It's got a few swirls in there you can see. And then I took it, some foil, covered it to get the shape of my turtle shell. And then I went ahead and went around the outside to give him that little bit of a ridge around it. Just kind of press it in. I use my ball tool to smooth it in on the inside. And I also added some texture. And you can see I'm going to smooth it in on the outside as well. And then I'm going to draw my turtle pattern on there. Is it a turtle pattern? I'm going to draw a pattern onto the turtle shell. But anyway, so I'm going to do a little bit of a pattern on here. Once I'm happy with that, I'm going to stick that on where those wires are sticking out. And I do use some clay adhesive when I, for the final press. I just wanted to make sure it lined up okay. And now I'm adding some texture with a small ball tool to each individual section. Now I'm going to go ahead and bake this according to packing instructions. So we just finished our second baking session. Now I want to add a bow staff since it's supposed to be Donatello. I was going to put it in his right hand, but I felt like it blocked his face a little bit. So I changed my mind, decided to put it in his left hand, but then I needed something for his right hand. So I went ahead and sculpted him this little love letter that he's going to give April. And then I sculpted his bow staff for his left hand. We'll set those aside and I'll bake those with the final baking session. Now I mixed some black with some of my brown to give him a dark brown belt. I wanted this to have a different contrast or different color so it didn't blend in with like the bow staff and the shell as much. So I made him this little belt to wrap around his shell and then I had to tuck it in under his arm and get it in there. And then at the front, I wanted to make it look like, you know, well, he's gotta be able to put his belt on. So I just took this little jump ring and connected the two pieces or make it look like it's connecting the two pieces. And then I added some texture to it. And now I'm gonna go ahead and make his mask. So I rolled out the clay and then I'm pressing it against his face. And you can see here I did indentions where his eyes was. Well, eyes was. His eyes are. And I thought this is perfect because this will give me a template of where to cut out and make those eye openings for his eyes in the mask. So I'm trimming those out and I'm smoothing the clay around there so it doesn't look all rough. And then I can put this onto my Ninja Turtle and it should line up perfectly with his eyes. So I'm just taking some more of that clay adhesive since my figure is completely baked and pressing that in and it does line up perfect. I'm very happy with this. Bringing it around and now I wanna have a couple of pieces of the mask hanging down. So i adding some texture to it first. I don't want it to be perfectly smooth. And then I added a little ball of the purple clay to the side to look like where it's tied off at. And then there's gonna be two pieces hanging down. So I sculpted one, did two indentions, adding some clay adhesive in there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put those in place. I'm starting with the first one, trimming off the edge, and then I'll go ahead and sculpt the second one and put that in place. All right, so I'm pretty, pretty darn happy with this guy. It worked out really well. I'm gonna go ahead and bake him his final time according to package instructions. All right, the last thing I need to do, or last couple things I need to do is I need to write April's name on here. So I'm just using a Sharpie permanent marker. And then I'm gonna glue those into place. So I glued his envelope into his left hand and his bow staff into his right. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take a little bit of a break while this sets up and then we'll look at the final piece. <laughs> Four, <laughs> another one bites the dust. Look out scum, Casey's coming. And here is the finished Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Donatello using the mold from Nerdy Crafters Not Another Crap Kit. I'm really happy with the, how this guy turned out. I really wanted to make a Ninja Turtle and I'm glad it didn't work for his bow staff to go in his right hand because then I 
was forced to come up with something else in it. And I thought it was really fun to do a little love letter to April. I know, you know, the turtles all love April. And I know Donatello especially is just such a huge, you know, has a huge crush on her. So I thought it would be fun to do that. The letter was fun to make and just kind of adds more character and gives the figurine more of a story. So here's a close-up of how those eyes look. I really like doing the resin eyes with these figures. It adds kind of a mixed media to it and makes it more interesting. You can see them from some different angles. I had a lot of fun making this piece. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my channel. Here's a comparison of Donatello with my previous figurine using this mold, the mummy. The mummy took about eight hours, but I had to paint him. The Ninja Turtle took a little under seven, which so I spent a lot more time sculpting, but didn't have to paint him. All right, well, thanks for watching. And remember, never stop creating. Bye. Hey, if you're new here, you probably haven't seen my mummy video, which I did before this video. So be sure to click that picture up there and watch that video. And if you're interested in something else, try this other video. I don't even know what it generates to put there. It says best for viewer. YouTube knows what's best for you and they're going to say you like this one. All right, bye.